quickly divorce our son. Someone like you doesn't match with my child. I receive insults like that every single day from my mother-in-law. But even for someone like me, I finally reached my limit. I can't tolerate being with the lowest of people anymore. If you insist that much, let's get divorced as you wish. My name is Madeline. I'm a homemaker. I'm in the middle of newlywed life with my husband Nolan, and every day is filled with happiness. My husband has been the kindest and most understanding person I've ever known since we were dating. Hey Nolan, I want to keep working after we get married. Just because I became a housewife doesn't mean I want to slack off from work. I understand, Madeline. You have a strong sense of responsibility. He always respects my opinion, and we both work, sharing household chores. I sincerely think I married a wonderful man. Despite our abundant happiness, we do have our share of troubles. That's Nolan's mother, who is my mother-in-law. In fact, I'm currently facing mistreatment from my mother-in-law. I sit all the time in dramas and such, but I never thought I'd be in this situation. I can't believe I'm going through all this. I had thought that with a man as kind as him, everything would surely be good when it comes to his mother. But the reality is the opposite of my ideal. It's a continuous stream of sighs every day. My mother-in-law lives in an apartment, just a 10 minutes walk from our marital home. Her husband has already passed away, so she lives alone. Since I married Nolan, she has started visiting us almost every day. Good evening, Madeline. Oh, Mom, are you here again today? Why shouldn't I come to my son's house? It's not like that. But I didn't expect you, so I didn't prepare anything. Well, clumsy daughter, isn't it common sense to be prepared for whoever might visit at any time? That's what a homemaker should do, right? I'm sorry. This kind of thing happens regularly. My mother-in-law has a firm grasp of when my husband and I get home. She keeps making sarcastic remarks endlessly, time to my arrival. Mom, will you have dinner here? With trembling hesitation, I asked, and my mother-in-law furrowed her brows. Huh? She let out a sigh. I don't need your half-hearted cooking. And your room is a mess. What are you thinking? I'm sorry. I just got back from work, so I haven't had time to tidy up. In the first place, even though you are married, you're still out there working. Isn't that a problem? If you don't properly dedicate yourself to your household and focus on home life, maybe these things wouldn't happen, don't you think? Well, that might be true, but... My mother-in-law sighed deeply and sank into the sofa. In general, you're constantly working and you don't seem to care about anything, do you? It's been six months since you got married, and you're not even trying to have children. On top of that, the house is a mess. No one deserves better in this situation. No, about having children. And it's only been six months since we got married. Don't answer back. Let me tell you. I accepted your marriage with my son to have an heir, you know? Oh, oh that's an heir. With this pattern, unannounced daily visits have become the norm. Moreover, constantly making sarcastic comment like this has been causing significant damage to my mental well-being. And this has been escalating even further recently. Madeline, did you quit your job today? On this day as well, my mother-in-law without an appointment wasted no time and immediately blurted it out. No, I haven't quit. Huh? My mother-in-law raised her eyebrows quizzically at my response. Why haven't you quit yet? Instead of lounging around, I've told you repeatedly to quit, haven't I? Um, Mom, I've also communicated this to you multiple times, right? I have no intention of quitting my job. What are you saying? I won't allow that. 
for no one's sake. Quit your job immediately and focus on housework. Nolan also understands and supports my work. These decisions are made by both of us, so please don't worry. No matter how much I explained, my mother-in-law did not at all. In fact, she. You are manipulating my son. She starts yelling. Muddling. Enough is enough. I don't want to say these things every single time. Everything would go smoothly if you just did as I say. Even if you say that, I respond with a sense of bewilderment at my mother-in-law's statement. I find satisfaction in my job, and as for the household chores, I do them properly in cooperation with Nolan. No excuses! A wife's job is not to go to work. It's about housework and childcare. Since you married into this family, it's only natural that you take care of Nolan's needs and ultimately take care of me as your mother-in-law, right? Th that's my mother-in-law. Oh, it's already this late. She said this while packing her things and leaving. It seems she doesn't want to run into my husband when he returns home. In front of my husband, she doesn't say a word. And she only unleashes these sarcastic comments when it's just the two of us. Why do I have to put up with all this? As I prepare dinner, I feel a sense of futility and tears well up. However, I have a sense of pride that if I cry here, I will be admitting defeat. So I wipe away my tears and continue cooking. Fifteen minutes later, when my husband returned home, I reported the matter about my mother-in-law to him. So today, your mother came over again. Not only does she make sarcastic remarks every time, but recently, she's been telling me to quit my job and focus on household chores. My husband, loosening his tie, laughed. Mom? Seriously? It's true. She's always blaming me in a harsh tone. Please, can you say something to her on my behalf? I don't think my mom would say such things. Having her come over every day is really stressing me out. Madeline, you must be tired from work. I think my mom is saying it for our sake. And you're probably being too sensitive, right? Apparently, my husband sees a different side of his mother. And no matter how much I complain about her, it doesn't align with his image of her. After that, I tried to talk to my husband, but he never took it seriously and always dismissed it as me overthinking. Then one day, a turning point came. I received a message from my husband, saying he'd be finishing work early and suggesting we go home together. We arranged to meet at the nearest station before heading home. Along the way, my husband mentioned that he felt like having a drink today, so we decided to buy some alcohol from the supermarket on the way back. All right. I will grab some beer on the way back. Okay. Then I will head home first and prepare some simple snacks. That would be great. I will leave it to you. It's been a long time since I've had a leisurely drink with my husband. My steps naturally become lighter. I open the door on a high note and find my mother-in-law standing in front of me. Madeline, what do you think you are doing at this hour? As soon as she saw me, my mother-in-law shouted loudly, oh, oh, mom! Working until this late, do you have the audacity? Have you forgotten what I told you before? Well, today was just... Are you planning to answer back? Even after I told you to quit your job and support Nolan? It seems you still don't understand, do you? Mom, it's not like that. Today I... Are you still going to shield yourself from me? You are such an impudent wife, aren't you? It's really not cute. No, well... Despite my attempts to explain the situation, my mother-in-law was not at all willing to listen. I was at a loss. That's when... What just happened? A voice came from behind, and there stood my husband. My mother-in-law's face turned pale. Uh... She stammered. No, Nolan, why? It's not a matter of why. 
But what was that just now? No, I mean... I heard everything you know. I can't believe you are insulting Madeline like that. It's not what it seems, Nolan. Please, listen. She grabs Nolan's arm. There's a reason for this. Nolan coldly pushes her away. A reason? I don't know about that. But even if there were, it was too harsh. My mother-in-law stayed silent for a while. But then, she seems to become defiant. Nolan, you really don't understand, do you? Understand what? My husband calmly responds. Take a good look. It's so inappropriate for a woman to work this late. And she won't even let me see my grandchildren. Don't you think it's strange? Marlene takes pride in her work. What's wrong with that? Our wife's job is to take care of the house, her husband's need, and even her mother-in-law's care. But Marlene can't do any of it. Divorce is clearly the best option. My husband looked aghast at my mother-in-law's words. All right, I get it, Mom. You don't like that Madeline is my wife, huh? Huh? Nolan? I exclaimed in surprise. Wait a minute. Why is he suddenly saying this? Why take your mother's side and not mine? My mother-in-law seems to think my husband was on her side, and her eyes lit up. Nolan, do you understand now? Yeah, I get it. I understand that you, Mom, think that way. That's right. That's how it should be. Good job, Nolan. I knew my son would understand. I will talk it over with Madeline, so you don't have to worry anymore. My mother-in-law left with a big smile and a look of triumph on her face. There was an awkward silence between my husband and me. So, Madeline, should we talk about it? Nolan, about what you said earlier about divorce? I asked hesitantly, and my husband's response was unexpectedly different. Huh? Why would I want to divorce you, Madeline? I don't have even a tiny bit of intention to do that. Huh? But earlier, what was that about? What do you mean? Well, you see... My husband wore a mischievous smile and whispered a certain plan to me. Oh, that sounds interesting. In that moment, I made up my mind to take revenge on my mother-in-law. I had been subjected to her whims for far too long. With all the patience I had exercised until then, I was now ready to push her to her limits. And so, starting the very next day, we began our preparations. We haven't visited my mother-in-law's house since she last visited ours. It was a week later. Mom, it's been a while. We came today because we have something to discuss. Upon hearing my husband's words, my mother-in-law beamed. I've been waiting for this. With excitement, she welcomed us. So what's the report? About that matter from the other day, right? Yes, that's right. I talk it over with Madeline, and we finally reached an agreement. My husband took out a divorce agreement that he had prepared in advance and showed it to my mother-in-law. Well, 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 divorce? What a joyous occasion this is. Now you, Nolan, can find a new wife. Despite my presence, my mother-in-law continued to be insensitive with her words, but I couldn't hold back any longer and told her. Mom, you are completely mistaken. Huh? Just keep quiet. My mother-in-law glared at me with irritation, shooing me away with a dismissive gesture. I continued despite her harassment. We are not getting a divorce. We will stay married. What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't hear? No one and I are not getting divorced. We came to give you an update on our future plans. So this isn't about post-divorce matters? No, it's not. Then what is it about? My mother-in-law raised her voice, looking as if she might attack me at any moment. Seeing this, my husband stepped in between us. Mom, I've decided to become Madeline's house husband. Huh? A house husband? My husband took the divorce agreement 
and tore it into two right in front of my mother-in-law. Saying this, Oh, the divorce agreement! My mother-in-law exclaimed, I will say it again. We are not getting divorced. I won't do what you said. I love Madeline from the bottom of my heart. Just wait a minute, Nolan. What on earth is going on? I won't allow you to become a house husband. I don't need your permission. This is my decision. I won't follow your orders anymore. What are you talking about? You're my only son. What about carrying on the family name? What about taking care of me? I'm cutting ties with you, mom. Why should I consider the family's affairs? There is no successor, no caregiving here. Our family's legacy ends with my generation. No, that's... My mother-in-law slumped down and worn an expression of utter despair. All right, let's go. My husband took my hand and my mother-in-law clung to his legs, starting to cry out in a tearful voice. Wait, I was wrong. I will apologize. So please forgive me. I won't do it again. Don't cut ties with me. If you leave, I will truly be all alone. Regardless of her pleas, neither my husband nor I had any sympathy for my mother-in-law. We proceeded with this plan with our own determination. Mom, it's already decided. My husband's words brought tears to my mother-in-law's eyes. I too spoke firmly to her. Thank you for everything, Mom. Nolan and I will be happy here. Both my parents have already given their approval for this plan, so don't worry. M Madeline, please wait. I want to apologize to you too. Please don't go. Thank you for everything you have done for me, Mom. Well then, with those parting words, my husband and I left his family home. Afterward, my mother-in-law contacted us to apologize multiple times, but her persistence led us to change our phone number. Since then, we haven't received any further messages from her. On the occasion of our move, we relocated to a different place, effectively starting our lives anew. Later, we learned that my mother-in-law still believed we were living in our previous apartment, so she would stand outside the entrance, shouting her apologies. That didn't last long as complaints arrived from the neighborhood. Eventually, she ended up in the care of the police. It seems that the neighbors are spreading rumors that she is a beautiful person who was estranged from her son and his wife due to harassment. On the other hand, we have returned to the peaceful days we used to have. Nolan, I'm sorry. You've gone this far for my sake. What are you talking about? I don't want to make someone important to me sad. It's only natural. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Nolan's gentle words naturally warmed my heart. I'm so glad he's not someone with outdated, old-fashioned views like my mother-in-law. I can continue to live happily with him. I can confidently say that it's great to be with this person, and I'm glad we are together.